and right now the pace of Krakow is just it's definitely right up our alley. Oh. Sweet. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to Poland. We're in Krakow. Yeah. It took about seven and a half hours. We took another Flix bus from Prague to, to here. Get here. Yeah. Um, and it was fine. We had no issues. No issues whatsoever. But we just have to start off by saying that Poland is absolutely awesome. It's like already. Yeah. It's like gone above and beyond our expectations. It's one of those cities. So we travel full time. If you're new here, my name is a few new people on the channel. <laughs> my, my, name's, my name is Dan and this is Stacey. <laughs> and we travel full time and we always explore new cities. And Krakow is one of the first places that like, as soon as we arrived, we were like, wow, it instantly hit us how cool this place actually is. Yeah. The only other place that I can think of recently, we love every place for one reason or another, but it was, was Taiwan was another place that just blew us away mm. quite quickly. And so we feel like it's going to be the same here. Yep. Right? We're excited. Yeah, so today we're heading towards a, um, it's called the Jewish Quarter, where the place where we're staying is just opposite it. Yeah, we have to get across a really cool like pedestrian bridge and we're yep. just going to go and wander around, check it out. We've yeah. heard really cool things about it. Yeah, it's sort of like an up and coming area that is known as being like a, a cool spot around here. So we'll reveal a little bit more, but we're going to head along the streets now and head over towards this, this area or down by the river. figure out how to get on this on the seesaw. Sit on it. That's great, you face this way. <laughs> this is the most antisocial seesaw. <laughs> What'd you find out? It commemorates a Polish writer. It's a sculpture, so if I just offended anybody by going on that, based on the scrape, I feel like people or other people, people have, have been sat on, on this. People have been on it. We mentioned that we're going to the Jewish Quarter, which is just over this bridge here. So the area is called Kashmir's, um, full of like coffee shops and all sorts of like uh, cool modern culture. I yeah, think. Yeah, apparently eh? there's like street art. It has had a turbulent history. Yeah. Which we are gonna do. It's a really good we're point. We're locked in a walking tour, so we can like really learn about it. But for now, we kind of just want to see what it's like present day. Yeah. Everybody we've spoken to is like, go to this area, yeah. just walk around, and you'll absolutely love it. But I probably should mention some of the reasons why instantly, so the area that we've just shown is sort of, we'll share more of that at a later date, but that's sort of the area that we first walked in when we arrived, like less than a day ago or a day ago. What it's would you so say? It's so cool. I just think it's got everything that you want. Like yeah. you want a barber shop, it's there. You want yeah. local like fashion design, it's there. Yeah. Good like coffee shops you can see, and yeah, restaurants. Food. Craft and beer is really big here as well. Craft beer, yeah. we love beer. There's not too many people around. It's really quiet. It's really, really clean. Everybody speaks, well, a large portion of people speak English. Really well priced. Like yeah. beautiful weather. There's this river down here as well. It like, kind of just ticks all the boxes for yeah. us. And then there's so much history here that yeah. we're going to tackle at another day. There's just so much for us to get into. But honestly, it just feels like there is so much for us to explore. We're just like, I'm amped. <laughs> We're both very excited. <laughs> Alright, let's go across this bridge now yeah, and see what this uh, Kashmir's area is like. seen from those first initial clips this place is really really cool everywhere we turn there we just keep finding these massively impressive like uh, 
churches and old buildings next to like new buildings being built as well. There's tons of little restaurants and bars and stuff that have got really wide footpaths. Very European, like you sit out on the, on the path, people sitting around in the square, um, you know, like eating their ice cream or just drinking their little coffees or sipping a wine or a local beer or something. And there's just not too many people around. It's, it's actually really, really nice. I think one thing that we've noticed as well, which is actually we absolutely love about places we visit that are like slower paced. And right now, the pace of Krakow is just, it's definitely right up our alley. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I don't know what it is, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, a pilsner. A pilsner. We've come to this like we were literally just walking down the street and and saw these like beachy chairs mm. and thought that looks like a cool place and it's kind of like a beer garden but with. There's just no one here. There's nobody here. It's so chill. Beers are a good price. Uh, twenty. Uh, twenty zloty. Yeah. Yeah. For two. It's great. For five hundred ml it. each. Such this. a great spot. I've got a little, the church is in the background as well. Poland, we're loving it. <laughs> This is the sort of variety we're loving. You've got these awesome cobblestone streets, these tall buildings, little cafes and bars and restaurants and all sorts going on just randomly on the side of the road here. I don't think cars come through here actually. We've got little restaurants like this and then back around this side. It's like a whole square here. We're right next to a, a church. We've got this whole square with more restaurants and everything and like little open squares. a little bit of a hint earlier about what we are going to be doing um, I did a bit of research and there are so many cool barbershops yeah. in this area and danger needs a little bit of a trim a little bit so of a trim. that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go hit one of those up and see <laughs> see how good luck see yeah. what it's like. <laughs> most people speak English so we should be fine but before we do that we're gonna uh, sorry after we do that we're gonna get a haircut first is um, we're gonna try pierogies which are super popular in yeah. Poland. They're like uh, meat filled or sweet. They come sweet and savory, right? Yes, yeah. So they're both. like dumplings. If you are from Poland or if you've spent time here, let us know where we can find the best pierogies because we want to go and hunt them out. And we're here for a month. So. Yes, we haven't even mentioned that. We're here for a month. So this yeah. is the first of like many, many, many <laughs> videos. So subscribe if you're new here because there's going to be tons more to come from Poland. And then we're going to Warsaw and to Gdansk as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, let us know uh, down below if there's any good places, but I'm talking too much. Uh, we've made an appointment, so I need to get over there and get a little bit of a trim real quick. This is the place we're going. It's called Pierogi, Pierogi Mr. Vincent, I think. At least that's English, the English way to put it. I'm gonna go and see what it's all about. So I had a really good haircut, not that anybody really cares, but it was, it was 60, 60 uh, zloty and it was like actually really, really good. They were really good in there. Anyway, as you know, we're now on the um, pierogi place. We've got a lot of food here. We've got 10 uh, chicken and 10 ch uh, chicken and spinach. 
and 10 strawberries. So one sweet, one savory. We tried the chicken one. They took a long, long time to come out as well, which makes me think that they're like freshly cooked back there. They're like steaming hot. We don't know what the local way is, so we've just gone, we just picked chicken and spinach because it sounded nice. Smell spinachy. Yum. It's really, really good. There's like some herbs and spices in there, which I don't know what they are. There's like a little cube almost of chicken in each, in each individual one. And then there's just like a really nice, um, I don't know how to explain the spinach taste in there, but it's just one of those things that you can, it's cooked inside, yeah, in there as well. It just all works together so nicely, but it, it doesn't feel like, sometimes you eat like a dumpling or like a wonton sort of thing. And it's like, it's almost soupy. It's just like gone swallow. This is like, this is a meal. This is like hearty food. And that makes me very happy. I think the other thing that makes it so like hearty is that it's actually a really thick, I don't know if it's called a dough, I'm not sure what the wrapper is, sure. Yeah, it's actually really, really thick, whereas often like dumplings are just, like I said, they're so thin that they just break. Now these are like, actually, probably can't see, but these are super, super thick. This is the strawberry one. Oh. Sweet? Mmm. <laughs> Instantly like sweet, excuse me. Instantly sweet and sugary, and then again, like that thick wrapping around it makes it seem like it's not just like a little treat. It's like a, it tastes like a full on, almost like a dessert. Because it's so so sweet, but then it's like it's a meal at the same time. I want to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stacey's doing all the filming while I was just sitting here trying all this food, happy, happy and smilingly, and drinking my, my Polish beer. So I just tried a couple of pierogies, and they are so good. Dane was right. Love them. But they kind of tasted. A little bit more sort of like pastery, yeah. a bit more a bit more Italian than say like an Asian. I didn't Asian really dumpling. click at the time, but you're one hundred percent right. It's more they're Italian so, than Asian. Yeah, they're so good. And I think we should probably mention that this place has something like 30, 34 was it? Yeah, 34, 34 different flavours. So tons of sweet ones, heaps of savory options, beef, lamb, everything. Everything your heart desires. <laughs> yeah. Was it about seventeen zwati or so each? Yes, I think so, around that price. Yeah. But anyway, I think that we're just gonna sit here, have some beer, enjoy our pierogies, yeah. and end it here. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye.